This conference will now be recorded. Roll call. Commissioner Eastman. Here. Commissioner Ginger. Here. Commissioner Warren. Here. Commissioner Welch. Here. Mayor Rogers. Here. All those who wish to participate in the opening prayer and pledge of allegiance, please stand. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as we gather here to work toward a common goal, we ask for your presence to guide and direct our decisions. We know your will is good for all members of our community. We also pray for our police, our fire department, and city workers and hospital employees for their safety and the work they do. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And, and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are there any additions or deletions to the agenda? Yes, there are. Uh, we're going to put on the agenda uh, swearing in two new police officers, and then also add a resolution um, to uh, authorize a uh, uh, work session, study session on April 23rd. I move we accept the additions to the agenda. Second that. Motion been made and seconded for the approval of the additions to the agenda. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? The, on the approval of the agenda. I move we approve the agenda with the addition of the two previous items. Second. Motion and made and seconded. All those in favor uh, to the approval of the, uh, with the approval of the agenda uh, with the addition say aye. Aye. All opposed? Next are the awards and proclamations. We want to do this first for the swearing of the in, swearing in of the that, police officers. Maybe is that going to be at noon Friday? Yes. Well, you guys go first so they can get back to their to their jobs and their responsibilities. So ladies and gentlemen of the commission, thank you so much for the opportunity to come talk to you today. Um, I have the honor of introducing two uh, new police officers to the Ark City Police Department. So I'll tell you a little bit about each one of them. Uh, Rick Bennett uh, applied for employment with us back in March of 2020. Uh, originally from Derby, Kansas, uh, but has spent the last 14 years in New Mexico. Rick has worked for the last 20 years as a graphic designer. Rick decided to answer the call to serve as a police officer. He saw the opportunity here as a way to move closer to family and serve a community near his hometown. Rick is married and has two children. Hi, Rick. Right. Jeff Wilson applied for employment in June 2020. Jeff was raised in Winfield and graduated from Winfield High School. He joined the Marine Corps where he served for 13 years. Jeff wanted to join the Ark City Police Department to be part of community change and help show that law enforcement is here to help people. Both Rick and Jeff have successfully completed a hiring process that included a written exam, interview board, executive interview, a very thorough background investigation, psychological testing, polygraph examination, physical capacity testing, medical exam, along with drug and alcohol uh, screening tests. Uh, they are both slated to attend the Kansas Law Enforcement Training Center uh, later this month. Where's that hail at? Is it Hutch or? It's in Hutch. Okay. Yeah, south of Hutch. Yoda. <clears throat> at this time, I would ask the city clerk to administer the oath of honor uh, for these two officers. If you guys would like to kind of just turn around so we can get you out of the camera up right there. So maybe stand over there. I can get out of here. So raise your right hand and repeat after me. Okay. On my honor. On my honor. I will never betray my badge. I will never betray my badge. My integrity. My integrity. My character. My character. Or the public trust. Or the public trust. I will always have the courage. I will always have the courage to hold myself and others. To hold myself and others accountable for our actions. Accountable for our actions. 
I will always uphold the Constitution of the United States. I will always uphold the Constitution of the United States. And the state of Kansas. And the state of Kansas. My community. My community. And the agency I serve. And the agency I serve. Thank you. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Welcome aboard. Congratulations. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Glad to have you here. Welcome aboard. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome aboard Rock City. Congrats. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, sir. That's all right. Thank you. Next up, we have a proclamation here. Uh, whereas the monarch butterfly is an iconic North American species whose multi-generational migration and metamorphosis from caterpillar to butterfly has captured the imagination of millions of Americans. And whereas the monarch population has declined by approximately 90% since the 1990s, more than 90% of the grassland ecosystems along the monarch's migratory corridor have been lost. And where our cities, towns, and counties have a critical role to play to help to save the monarch butterfly, and the city of Arkansas City wishes to play such a leadership role. And whereas each citizen of Arkansas City can make a difference for the monarch butterfly by planting native milkweed and nectar plants to provide habitat for the monarch and pollinators in locations where people live, work, learn, play, and worship. And whereas on behalf of the people of Arkansas City, I am honored to be the second mayor to lead the way by Resigning the National Wildlife Federation's Mayor's Monarch Pledge, and I encourage other city officials across our great nation to take a stand with me so the monarch butterfly once again will flourish across the North American continent. Now, therefore, I, Scott Rogers, Mayor of the City of Art, Kansas City, Kansas, do hereby, hereby proclaim Tuesday, April 6, 2021, as Mayor's Monarch Pledge Day in the city of Art, Kansas City, Kansas, and encourage all citizens to support efforts to help to restore milkweed and other summer breeding habitat for the monarch butterfly in the Arkansas City area. So these magnificent butterflies once again will flourish across the North American continent. I further call upon the citizens of Arkansas City to observe April 5th through 9th, 2021 as National Wildlife Week in the city of Arkansas City, Kansas, and encourage all citizens and government agencies to consider implementing uh, conservation efforts that will protect and improve the environment for the future well-being of our children and the wildlife we treasure. And I think Paisley's on board from the beautification board, correct? So thank you. I know they Sorry. Have, they've had several meetings uh, with regards to this. So. Yeah, um, I just want to say a quick thank you. Um, it's really awesome that you guys are behind this effort and it's going to be an exciting journey as we all move forward to bring um, some cool things into fruition. Thanks, Paisley. Do you guys have anything? Okay. Nope. Thank you. Are there any recognition of visitors? I don't see any. I would say there's no comments from the audience or anyone online. No. Next up, consent agenda. I move we approve the consent agenda as printed. I'll second that. Motion been made and seconded for the approval of the consent agenda. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Um, there's no old business, on to new business. Okay, thank you. Consider approval of city insurance coverage for property, liability, vehicles, and equipment. Okay. So yes, it's it's up a little bit this year. Um, the main drivers of that are there's uh, um, some uh, lawsuits that are currently uh, the system and um, that's that's really kind of the big driver of, of the increase. Uh, what is re refresh our memory? What is linebacker? 
So that's the one that covers like the, the um, um, uh, lost okay. loot, those types of things that uh, protects. Um, oh, okay. Six. So you guys take you know, the yeah. city. Okay. Yeah, we uh, we haven't had this thing. I mean, I know we a couple of years ago. I think we had it shopped out, you know, with different people. But uh, uh, it was high. Huh? It was high. Yeah, well, well, we got several things that's happened. You know, caused it to be a little higher than what it should. Uh, Yeah, I believe uh, Kevin told me that they had shopped it, I believe last year or the year before. And yeah, I couldn't remember when it was. There's just not a lot of, there's not many companies in the market for, for cities. Yeah. EMC is the, the leader in that. And what's our deductible on that? It's five on property, isn't it? What's that, man? Five on property. Five thousand. I don't recall. Yeah. Five thousand. Yeah. I knew it had five in it. <laughs> Thank you. Well, this is the only proposal we have. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Well, Huh? It's EMC. I will move that we approve the city insurance coverage for property liability vehicles and equipment as quoted in our agenda. A second. Motion been made and seconded to approve city insurance coverage. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion pass. This already expired, Randy. Uh, it, are we in a grace period? Yeah, we are. I think April four come around. It was first part of April is when it renews. Yes. That said, thanks. Motion passes unanimously. On to the next item. Consider the first reading of an ordinance. Authorizing the city of Arkansas, Kansas, in conjunction with Kansas Unified School District 470, Tally County Community College, Arkansas City Recreation Commission, and AC Tennis Association to enter into an interlocal cooperation agreement for the use and maintenance of tennis courts throughout the country. And this has been for everybody. Right. You'll you be the last group to approve it if you do. Um, Larry worked on this agreement. Um, yeah. All the entities sat down and, and, and went through it, and Larry took um, took all that disagreement together. So we we basically all, each entity, um, $500 a year. Um, and then all the golf, uh, not golf courses, all the tennis courts in town, um, are on a rotation of being of, of a maintenance. I think it works out to be about every eight years. Um, I think the tennis courts get. Um, well, everybody's paying their thirty five hundred dollars. Right. That's goes in. Thank you. That's a good way to keep make sure the courts get up kept. I mean, that's that's I like that. I do too. Then it also lays out the fees that uh, that we charge to for the indoor courts over at the, the Ag Building. Yeah. And uh, who who oversees the fees? That would be the tennis association. Okay. And they, do they turn that? The, they haven't paid their fees in two years. No, that's that's not correct. They, they have paid their fees. Are you sure? Rec center. Yes, I am. The rec center held that pending the contract, and that's something the city manager worked out with all of them. That was part of their meeting. They they were they were behind in submitting those fees to the city. They had them at the rec center, right? But they had ever each entity had been paying. But 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 they've turned the money over. Uh, I believe it has been now. Okay. I, I'll, have to, I'll check on that. I know they were waiting on. Um, they did some courts uh, uh, this past year, and they were waiting on some reimbursements. And and when those funds came in, then they were going to 
get us taken care of. So, question: Is that thirty five hundred dollars annually from each entity goes into a fund? But is that enough to do all these um, rotation, all these tennis courts over a period of eight years? That, that's yeah. That's, okay, that's it is. So. That's a wonderful deal because mm -hmm. I think it's a neat way to get your bread. Make sure they get because you know got keep. When it got bad, you know, then we had this, you know, said he had to step in, you know, and by doing it that way, now it's everybody's got a piece of the action. What about the uh, two courts that are left at the uh, Wilson Park? I don't see those. Is, is that pin with the? Yeah, I don't believe those are. Okay, so that's uh, two less than. Yeah, and I believe those probably. I think they get used for pickleball more than anything. Uh, yeah. 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 So. So we have to keep that one up. Okay. Yeah. I've, I've almost gone down several times because those fractures so bad. The earthquakes. Several times I've almost gone down. I'll make a note of that. Well, earthquakes. Well, with regards to this uh, resolution and knowing that it sounds like we're the last entity to approve it, I'd like to make a motion that we consider an ordinance authorizing the city of Arkansas City, Kansas. In conjunction with Kansas Unified School District 470, Cali County Community College, our Kansas City Recreation Committee, their commission, and AC Tennis Association to enter, in, to enter into an interlocal, interlocal cooperation agreement for the use and maintenance of tennis courts throughout our Kansas City. Second. Motion has been made and seconded, and I believe this will be a roll call vote. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Commissioner Binger? Yes. Commissioner Warren? Yes. Commissioner Wolf? Yes. Yes. Item number three of new business. Consider a resolution authorizing the city of Arkansas City to accept a proposal from Recreation Resource Incorporated in Overland Park to purchase a polygon multi-rib pavilion for the Arkansas City Farm and Art Market as part of the Wilson Park Phase 1 upgrades project for an amount not to exceed $169,470. So, yes, uh, the, the, um, the prices on these structures are going up very quickly. Uh, Mike uh, had reached back, so we got this initial uh, proposal, and Mike reached out again um, for a, a, a bid on a little bit smaller structure with a, you know, maybe adding some um, ring gutters and stuff. And it increased to what twenty thousand um, dollars? Yeah, thirty-five hundred thirty thousand. So um, this is. Cheap as it's going to get for a while. <laughs> I, re I read that in there. I'm get it here. No, they're not all worth of steel. It's, and, uh, it's included so in that, and it's got part of the grant it's, money. It's part of the P.J. Wilkins. Uh, yeah. Well, it's hard to create some about some branding on it. Yeah, but it's hard to get it on it. It's hard Well, this maps the Wilson Park the way it looks right now. I mean, is this the, the plan that we did, Andrew? I mean, that the we had we had yeah, the time. The yeah, I saw it in here. I don't know what color comes with. It. It's not as grand as the original vision, but it's, it's far more affordable, and it's still the same basic concept. Like I said, the farm market people are very pleased with it and excited to get it going. So. But it can also be used for other things, oh, yeah. Akalala and, yeah. and different things like that. Yeah. So it's not, yeah. Um, we're hoping it in place before the first, which is when they start the season, but we didn't want to put that on construction. Now, this price uh, this, this doesn't include uh, construction, does I mean, putting it together. Oh. That's not included in it. No, uh, that'll be in the bid package. Okay. So we'll have a contractor that will come in for the footings that will also be responsible for bringing up the structure. And then potentially another contractor will do the part of the lot. But it may not be one, too. We haven't broken it out yet. Okay. So we'll still work on the final and get that package. But this is just a steel part of the building. Steel and the store, and it's ready to go. Okay. 
what price is it going up in support of Suez Canal issues? So I can't imagine that they're. <laughs> We've been working on Wilson Park for quite a while. I think it's time we take a step forward. I will move that we consider resolution authorizing the city of Arkansas City to accept a proposal from Recreation Resource Incorporated of Overland Park to purchase a polygon multi rib pavilion for the Arkansas City Farm and Art Market as part of the Wilson Park Phase One Upgrades Project for an amount not to exceed $169,470. I'll second that. Motion been made and seconded. This will be a voice vote. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion passes unanimously. On to item number four. Consider a first reading of an ordinance adopting the budgeted pay plan for 2021 and repealing mm -hmm. ordinance number 2020-10-4519. So to accommodate the restructuring in the HR department, we need to add a position that we that wasn't previously there. So that's what this is about, just adding in. HR analyst position to accommodate those that restructuring. That's all it was. That's one change. That's it. Well, I'm at commotion. We consider the, the ordinance of adopting, uh, adopting the budget plan for, for 2021 and repealing the ordinance number 2020-10-4519. Uh, Second it. Motion to be made and second in. This will be a roll call vote, I believe. Commissioner Eastman? Yes. Commissioner Ginger? Yes. Commissioner Warren? Yes. Commissioner Wilk? Yes. Yes. Item number five. Consider a resolution authorizing and directing the manager of Shelter Field Airport Industrial Park to execute airport improvement plan, grant documents, and other instruments thereto on behalf of the city of Arkansas City, Kansas and the city of Winfield, Kansas, as the participants in an interlocal agreement for the management and operation of the Sherman Industrial Park by the power vested in it by Article 12, Section 5 of the Constitution of the City of Kansas. So this just allows Sean to execute the, the grants uh, and not have to continue to go back to the city of Arkansas City and the city of Winfield um, for things that have already been approved by the by the his, his board out there. So just that just gives him the authority to move forward on these things. Well, this is normally what we have to do on everything on all these uh, kind of uh, uh, grants and stuff that the both cities they got to be approved up there, and both cities approve it since it's a city of both cities own that deal. So, by saying that, I make a motion that uh, consider a res resolution authorizing the directing the manager of Charlotte Field Airport Industrial Park to execute the airport improvement plan, grant documents, and other instruments thereof on behalf of the city of Arkansas City and the city of Winfield, Kansas, as a participant in the interlocal agreement. For the management and operation of the Starter Field Airport Industrial Park by the power vested by it in Article 12, Section 5 of the Constitution of the State of Kansas. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Roll call vote. Roll call. The roll call. It is what? The roll call. It is a voice vote. Oh, it is. Voice vote. All right. Hold on the deal. All right. All those in favor say aye. Uh, All opposed. Sorry. Motion passes unanimously. City manager updates. Okay, so on your uh, on your desk up there, there is the uh, Arc City Police Department's 2020 annual report. So, um, if you have any questions, obviously reach out to uh, Chief Burr. Um, if uh, if you'd like uh, if you'd like him to come in and give a presentation on, he's willing to do that to you. But, uh, uh, I'd like to hear from him down the road. Do you have him bring it in? Yeah. I'll, so that way we can ask questions, you know. We can look at it and then if we've got questions, we can ask him. Good. Um, Eric, are we going to do this one? Have we done that one? Yeah, that's right. You yeah, add this? Uh, we could add that, yeah. Do that next. What, the, oh, you want to do this now? Resolution. Yeah. We can go finish your updates. We'll do it. Don't forget it. Go next. I think there's, I think 
somebody just want to speak so there's a uh, traffic safety committee this Friday at 10 a.m. at the water treatment facility. Um, and there'll be also be a remote um, go to meeting option. Um, we're we're going to be uh, presenting to the Rotary uh, Club on on uh, Monday, um, discussing the hat that we're working on, the housing assessment tool, uh, getting feedback from the Rotary Club. That'll be a great place because there's such a diverse group of people there, different, you know, careers and walks of life and stuff. So um we'll do that at noon um rise uh cali health coalition meeting will be tuesday april 13th at 10 a.m on zoom again there will be a legislative committee uh meeting um at uh, 6 p.m april 13th at baden square in uh, winfield uh of course the next study session will be the april 16th at noon and that'll be kind of the budget retreat that'll be over at the water treatment plant this time um, and then if you guys approve this resolution uh, in front of you, uh, we'll have another uh, work session on the 23rd. And that's going to be to go over um, a fleet management uh, program that we've been looking at as staff. Um, okay, the, the city uh, budget retreats will be April of what, 15th? 16th. Friday from noon to 2, roughly, or approximately. That'll be at the water plant. And the, the medical center is having a golf tournament on April 17th at Great Life, and that starts at 8 a.m. So if you want to play a little golf and raise some money for them. And uh, there'll be a bridal shower uh, um, at the Burford um, on April 18th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And you may have noticed uh, the, uh, they started water line construction over there at the Red Meeks area. So um, that's, that's on, on the move now. Um, the in the alley here with the, the uh, they did the potholing to locate uh, the conduits that were existing, and so they should have a pretty good handle on what's there now. And they're working on plans on you know I I think what they'll end up doing if there's enough empty conduit, um, they'll just move the the cable over to the other side. So, but we're still waiting to hear um, the outcome of that. But th that that is work, they're all working on that. Is there a timeline on that? I mean. I mean, how long is it going to take to move, move that so we get started on that? Now it'll take a while. It's much more extensive than they had originally thought it was. Okay. And so when everybody came together and they actually got down into, I think some of the merchants even had a chance to look down in there and it's very extensive. Okay. And then uh, we got the swimming pool evaluation, a draft copy in. Uh, right now, I've got um, Tony and Deb uh, reviewing it to see that if there's anything in there that they don't agree with or think maybe needs to be changed. So hopefully, by the next meeting, we'll ha have that to present to you guys so you can kind of see where where things are at on on the existing pool and maybe some options that we can look at for the future. So that's all I've got. Thanks. I apologize for skipping this resolution. I was out of here. So we'll go back to the re resolution and it has to do with the enterprise fleet services. So in the next one, it will just be a public meeting. So. On April 23rd. Any questions? Not I would make a motion to consider resolution authorizing a public meeting of the governing body to attend a city commission study session in the city manager's office at City Hall located at 118 West Central Avenue in Arkansas City, Kansas at 12 p.m. on April 23rd, 2021. Second. Motion made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion passes unanimously. Some people showed up later. Do you guys have anything you'd like to speak to the commission about? Yeah. Come, on, come on up, Roger. Yeah. I'll take this thing off. Put some plug up. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, the, two, the two things I want to talk to you about is the appearance of Main Street. Since the accident that we had a worker that lost his life, that has become almost a non existent practice in downtown Arkansas City. Uh, this week has been ex extremely, last week or so, has been extremely difficult to keep anything in entryways clean because there's so much sand, dirt, and mud in our curbs and gutters in downtown Kansas City that as soon as it dries out, it's in our door. It used to be 
in my 54 years of being on the industry here in town, there was always a dedicated timeline that that street sweeper came downtown and made, made his rounds. Uh, Lewis was the operator for a number of years and others. That has not occurred in quite a while. A couple of Arkalalas ago, we were two days from Arkalala and all the gutters were full of leaves. We could not get anything other than I'm not sweeping that street again because the wind will just blow it right back in. Nick ordered it done and it got done so our visitors were breathed. There's not a method and I'm not throwing anybody under the bus because all these workers have got plenty to do. But unless this body has pride in that downtown, it's not going to get any better. It's just going to get worse. We can't do anything about the, I mean, we're, we're trapped there. They're rising our taxes 50% two years ago, 80% on a lot this year. Um, they're just making it impossible to have a decent greeting to our visitors. And when customers start messing up their shoes, they've, come, they've dressed up to come to town to buy a new clarinet for their daughter or a piano for their, for their wife or whatever. And they've got to walk through mud on our paved streets. And I could walk around town and see that where there is no businesses, the gutters are pretty clean. There is an environmental problem with the wind currents as they are up in the 300 block where we are, probably more than anyone else because you've got those long updrafts that are coming up those big hills from like down from Paris Park. And they do blow it in quite a bit. But a couple of times a week, we would be clean. I called Canyon three weeks ago, and I know that she talked to somebody. That doesn't have sense. They're not doing it on purpose. So until somebody gives them the order to do it, and we have pride in our downtown again, I wouldn't even be here if we still had all of the activities with, with 60 more merchants downtown. But even though there's not that many, there's a lot of us down there that rely on first impressions that we would like to have decent looking downtown. And especially for festivals, there has to be some kind of protocol that the commission or whoever makes those decisions is making has as a policy. That if you're going to invite people to your biggest event, you clean up your town and you might have to do it twice if you have a little storm. And there's just a lot of things. That, uh, I took some pictures just for it come up here, they're not worth sending because everybody already knows it. All you got to do is walk 300 block of South Summit, walk the, the 200 block of South Summit, the 100 block of South Summit, the 100 block of North Summit. You'll see it. Cans, fruit cans, fruit juice cans. Uh, there's four or five places where farmers or someone has come in after being out on the muddy road. Maybe there's been a rain or whatever, but you can tell exactly where every muddy tire was because the mud's still there six inches deep. And uh, it's just something that I would like to at request that you look into and help us keep a nice. I had the, the year of Urkelala, I had I just happened to be in Caldwell. They were having their festival and they were sweeping their streets. So I sent a picture over to Nick before I get back to our city, they were clean. But it's, it's just not on anybody's mind, except if you've got your front door. Yesterday, my store manager says, I cleaned that front entry 11 times. And you go outside to see, and there's just sand two to three inches deep in the curbs all, all up and down that block. And it's elsewhere as well. So anyway, thank you for all the things you guys do. And thank you, city workers, for it. But this is something that is a matter of pride for us on the ministry. The other thing I want to thank you for is the alleyway project. Uh, had a nice meeting with the engineer the other day in Virginia Weir, or months ago, huh. and I came out and we were talking to him and I explained to him, I said, you know, I moved to this block in 1973. Virginia moved here in the 80s. She was a brunette. Oh. <laughs> you didn't say that, did you? <laughs> she was that I was too. Anyway, we thank you for that. That is going to be a, a wonderful improvement, but it's going to be a lot of work because I went down, I'm, I'm the one who went down there with the flashlight with the engineer. And there's 16 conduits on the east side, and there's probably eight more clay ones on the west side. They can move them all. 
The other thing that's important, I think, for this body to know is that at and is not going to make fiber optic available to any business in downtown our city. They're going to make us pay for it because our choice last year was $550 a month or $200 a month, but we had to sign up for satellite service and fiber optic service. The next day the at and guys get here, there is no fiber optic service available to us. They're not going to access those lines for the downtown businesses. You guys may be able to get them for a city, for the police department or something like that, may give you a dedicated line. But those of us that are having four line telephone lines coming in and Wi-Fi with Cox or whoever we're with, if we wanted to upgrade, those fiber optic cables are not available to us. They're not, that is not something that it goes by us. And that's been the holdup for three years on getting our alleyway uh, cleaned up. But maybe somewhere in negotiations when AT&T comes in and tells you how great they're doing, they're not. They're not doing anything except raising everybody's bills every year. And I'd, I'd like to see if we've got fiber optic available here, I don't have it would help us in a lot of ways. Uh, the other thing I wanted to ask about, is there some kind of a city policy that we're not going to maintain our trash service and our trash receptacles anymore? Where at? Anywhere. Up downtown Main Street? Our, our trash out, out, out behind? Trash, yeah. Are they, are they still doing maintenance on that stuff? What do you mean? Well, it used to be if they would come in with the machine and grab our, our dumpster and slam it down and knock the wheels off it, they'd come back and fix it. I've got one that's been broken for over two years. I'm not even really sure it's ours. We bought a new dumpster when we bought the uh, gas service gas building and it disappeared. And they found it at, Paris, or at uh, Wilson Park and brought it back. But I think it's been changed again, but they're all beat up. And they're, they're just, I mean, that machine's pretty physical. And when it slams back down, it'll lock the wheels right off of it. But our, our dumpsters are pretty bad. And I was just driving up down the alleyway last night late and noticed that there's a lot of them there. Uh, we're all dedicated, invested, and committed our Kansas City merchants. What we look like to our customers and what they think of us depends more on you than us sometimes. But if, if we could get some help on the thing up to downtown and if we could get some help on the uh, Dumpsters, that would be very helpful. Thanks, Roger. Thank you. Thanks Roger. for coming. I'm going back to that fiber optics. I might have read this in just some random article, but it, there could potentially be grants later down in the next couple of years regarding getting fiber optics to communities. And sir, I'm looking at you because you seem to know more about potential grants than most, but. I mean, I read, I thought that was one of the goals of trying, you know, one of the plans coming out that they're going to try to. Yeah, broadband is one of the areas you could spend in there for the rest of the world. There's a lot of guys who don't have the other. Yeah. Oh, and I don't know if that's even a potential thing. I, he just, that just came out of my, you know, thoughts there. From from my past city, and we had a lot of, you know, two two fiber optic companies there. I don't, I haven't seen at and and those folks. It's more for rural. I, so I don't know. Yeah, and we may not qualify. That was kind of my question there, too. So just a thought when he's talking about getting fiber optics. But I, nice to get it through all of the community. But, but you know, the, the entire community should have yeah. fiber optics to the, to the door of residential land. But it will happen. Yeah. Uh, to get on Roger's thing about uh, cleaning the downtown speakers. Is, are they on the schedule to go downtown, or do you know? I'm gonna. We have a management meeting you know, first thing in the morning, so I made notes, and we'll we'll talk about that. So. Well, I think they probably used to years ago. So. Yeah, I'm not sure what the staffing level is on that yet. So, I'll, but I'll we'll we'll discuss this tomorrow. So. It was a night shift, and all Lewis got down after all the cars went home. He could come out and clean all the downtown in a lot of areas other downtown, but I wouldn't see him until lots of times 11 o'clock. And he would usually be down. I could I could see his dust clear up until three or four o'clock somewhere north or south. But it really made our town. Thanks. Anything else? Anything else? No. I make a motion. We adjourn the meeting. Second. All those in favor? All right. All right. Get up and head out. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Roger.